Hi everyone, don't mind me, I'll start the show in a minute, I just need to finish off this Pringle. It's been a very busy day and I've only literally just had a chance to have something. Very good. You get them in the goes. Really, really good. Whole cut. Whole can. Who keeps pinging me? Okay, hi everyone and welcome back to World of Mike. Today we are going to be doing the DV5, as you can see on here. Now, this is the old one, um, obviously, because I'm restarting it again. Um, so, yeah, um, this is uh, the Aston Martin DV5, so we're going to put that there like so. So flip that screen there, and as you can see, this is the Aston Martin DB5. Now, you can tell straight away that this is the old one. The old one has the red banner along here, along here. and if I go like that, the new one has this banner along here, uh, the grey version. So basically, you have one with a grey uh, and white cover, and then the other one is red and black. This is the old one. Um, I was approached by uh, someone on the show and they said, do you want the whole build? I can see you building the DB5. And he said that he had the whole lot. He didn't want it anymore and I could buy it off him. And uh, yeah, he uh, very kindly sent me this. So uh, we have many more of these to do. Um, this is obviously issue one. I can confirm, I've looked into this, there's really, we don't assemble nothing. So what I'm going to do is guide you through the process of what's going to be in here. As you can see, see James Bond DB5. So we've got the contents here, which is over there. We've got Start Your Car, the Bond and the DB5, how 007 and Aston Martin came to share, came to share sorry, a very special on-screen relationship. Then going into Inside the DB5 from the beginning and 007 Hall of Fame. So basically, this is the sections that we've got. Okay, so we've got the radiator grill, the Aston Martin badges, and the bulletproof screen, as you can see right here. Um, however, if this is anything like the Harley Davidson build, we won't be assembling anything just yet. So as you can see, then it goes in to start the car. And this is where it starts to go all pear shaped. As you can see, they've provided the radiator grill that we've got here. But as you can see, if we just pop that there for the minute, you can see that we don't actually attach that for some time, which is common. We normally get parts like that with the DeLorean and stuff like so. Moving on, we then get something uh, called the, um, you know, the anti-roll number plate thing uh, that sits there. Again, we've not had nothing here, so we can't do nothing here in that. Um then they go further on and we get the bulletproof screen, which again, we've got here. And again, that's secured down there, which again, we can't do nothing with. So all these bits here, we're not going to do anything with for some time. Um, bit disappointing, but there we go. Hello, Chris, you're right. How's the two? Are you OK? Um, I hear you've got some uh, medical issues with your tooth and it's causing really bad pain. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, and I wish you all very well. Then we've got, uh, yeah, so that was that part. Then it sort of goes into the cars of the star. Uh, this is going to be a inductory video because there's not nothing to do. Um, hello, Sunny Stormy. How's it going, lovey? So we've got that. Then my friend very kindly sent me all the, you know, you get the free sub uh, um, gifts, which I think is one of the posters. Uh, which was one of the free gifts. He actually sent me that because um, obviously, as you know, magazines do come in cellophane and for whatever reason, he didn't want it anymore. So he very kindly sent me this. Now, obviously, if you was a subscriber, you would have got the free gifts. So you would have got a competition. You don't get that watch. It's literally to enter the competition for a chance to win that watch, which is the Amiga watch competition. That is not the exact watch that he wore. Um, it's something similar. Then we've got the Aston Martin book. We've got the Goldfinger DVD, magazine binder, uh, screw box, and screw drivers. So that's that. Um, and obviously, that's if you want to subscribe. We know that here in the UK, you can't subscribe to it because they just can't afford. And basically, they don't want to pay for the licensing. It costs too much. Um, however, it has been in this country before. 
so if you were subscribed, you could get screwdrivers, a screw box, as I said, magazine binder there, and then obviously a chance to win. It says here, one lucky subscriber will win the stunning watch from Master Watchmaker's Amiga, whose timeline has appeared in the Bond movie since 1995, with Pierce Brosling's first outing, uh, with Pierce Brosling's first outing as 007 in GoldenEye, worth well over £2,000. The Amiga Seamaster Planet Ocean Watch is without doubt one of the finest things you can wear on your wrist. All you have to do for a chance to win is answer this question. In what year was the Goldfinger released in the UK? Was it A, 1962, B, 1964, or C, 1965? But please remember this subscription is no longer valid. I'm just showing you what you would have got. So, yeah, free gifts worth over 50 quid. Then you get an Aston Martin book from Hay Falmans. Um, worth 1999 celebrate the history of Aston Martin with this fantastic coffee table book so yeah lovely um, and obviously the usual garbage down below um, and as you can see if you was a customer it said oh this is interesting our customer guarantee ladies and gentlemen GE Fabry makes every effort to ensure the subscription process is convenient and hassle free we employ a dedicated customer service team to answer inquiries and will replace anything damaged in the post free of charge if you are not completely satisfied with anything during the first 28 days of your subscription you can return the items and will receive a full refund so that's that um again we can't do nothing with that so i'm going to tear that up because this subscription is no longer running in the uk so i won't be doing that as you can see um, as I said, my friend very kindly sent me this, uh, which is one of the sheets, one of four. I do believe he's got uh, three, uh, two, three, and four in other magazines uh, that he's saving for me. So he's got some of them. Uh, and this has travelled all the way up from Cornwall. So as you can see, just ask, uh, which is if you wanted to get the bills, you would have put it in your news agent. Again, it's not in this country, so we don't need that. So we're going to rip that up like so. Um, so I'll show you this at the end. Um, then what we've got here is the James Bond DB5. Uh, we'll go into that a bit later on, actually. Uh, let's get through this magazine first. Um, that's quite nice. I'm quite tempted to cut that out um, or use that as like a thumbnail for something, maybe. So that's that. Then we go into like the Goldfinger edition. We've got the rear bulletproof screen. We've got the rotating number plate here, unit front and rear. Um, then we've got the oil dispenser light swing down. This part here rejects out, and I have got that in a box somewhere. Um, type stingers, a tire stingers dispenser. So yeah, pretty good. Smoke screen cartridge underneath. Removable roof panel for ejector seat. Then we've got radio telephone handset in concealed drawer compartment. Rear tracking screen ejector seat. Amarments draw Smith and Wieson uh, Magnum a 0.35 revolver. Smith and Wieson Centennial 038 Combat Special 763 millimeters. Musia machine and pistol. Okay, then we've got control console, the Browning machine gun 303, uh, .303 barrel there moves forward from behind sidelines, so really, really good. Uh, radar, radar scanner concealed in wing mirror, so lots of hidden little gadgets here, and then ejector seat button under full gear uh, lever knob, which is there, just there, so if you push the button, it will go and shoot up like a rocket, I would love to do that to someone. Um, who I know, but I'm not going to do that. Um, but if I could position him in that seat and then push the button and send him up to space, I would, because um, I don't like him. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that would just be amazing. Hello, Sunny Stormy. How are you? Had a ma match one muster. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Lovely. Um, then we've got Making 007 from the uh, beginning. Lots of bits and pieces there with Harry Stortzman and Kobe Bacoli. Both had ambitions to bring James Bond to the big screen. Only by joining forces did they dream finally come true. So in other words, they actually combined and uh, discovered the uh, car to bring it a reality. Then obviously we've got um, bits and pieces here. Something to do with don't think James Bond is necessarily a good guy or a bad guy who is so loads of bits and pieces there uh james bond movie timeline so from the very first to quantum of solace down there we do know that there's another one coming out uh which is to live for die or something like that 
Then obviously we've got a taste of honey. So full name is Yuntsula Andres. Um, loads of bits and pieces there. Uh, place of birth is Ostermundigan, Switzerland. Um, so yeah, loads of bits and pieces about a taste of honey there. Um, I'm not going to read uh, this part here for obvious reasons, um, but obviously, yeah, that's a bit of that. Uh, then we've got next issue, we get the seat, um, the front bumper, the three revolving number plates, and obviously the driver's seat. Remember that I have done this previously, and I will get round to that. Um, so yeah, uh, front seat, yeah, that sort of stuff, front bumper revolver. So for anyone just joined, as you can see, radiator grill, Aston Martin DB5, bulletproof screen, and www.007db5.com, please be advised that it is sold out in America currently. So for anyone that's just joined, Neil from Morecambe, there we go, got it right first time. <laughs> um, we've got the parts, but we don't actually do nothing with it. It's a case of holding the parts up, as you can see. So basically, we don't do nothing with this. So it might as well just stay in the pack. There's no point opening that up. Um, I, I, I sort of wonder whether I should have done a pre-record, but you know what? I want to show you what's in here. So that's that. So really, really good. Um, so what other garbage have we got? So yeah, same sort of subscription gifts again, same sort of stuff. Um, you know, if you would have uh, subscribed to it again, this is a very old part work, so I don't need that. So we're going to rip that up because you can't subscribe to it, so there's no point. Um, so we'll get that. Then we've got, um, oh, that's quite nice. So issue two comes with the front bumper, and we've also got the seat here. Then we've got the bonnet, and then obviously coming up in issue four, we're going to have something which looks like an oil cap, a cylinder head, and a fan belt system. Now, we're going to be covering that uh, soon, um, as soon as I can get issue two back on the schedule, because it's chock-a-block with all different things at the moment. So then we've got this one. This is the this is the sexy one here, guys, because this is um, this is the sexy one because, as you can see, when you open it up, the best bit of this magazine. Oh, it's the poster. Oh yes, actual size. This is really good. So actual size is five point. Um, 57.12 centimeters again we're bulletproof screen we've got oil dispenser light swing down tire stingers dispenser i'd love to do that to a friend of mine um just like zap his tires in person <laughs> <laughs> uh rotating number plate unit front and rear um sorry ex-friend of mine um extending overrider rams front and rear uh, retractable tire slashers oh wow i'd love to do that as well like just slash um this specific person's tires um removable roof panel for ejector seats and then we've got the ejector seat here control console radiator tracking screen there's so many things in this field wow um so ejector seat button under full gear leaving up again would love to do that to this uh, man uh <laughs> so yeah uh not 007, obviously, um, someone else. Uh, radio, uh, radio, telephone, handset, and concealed door compartment. So we've got something that sits there. So the essential information here is the length is going to be 57.12 centimetres, with the width being 19.75 centimetres, weight being 8.5 kilograms, materials as die cast metal, body panels and engine, <gasps> ABS tyres, seating and chassis. And then construction, the model pieces either click together or are held in place by screws. Now, really, you don't say. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, it's pretty obvious you couldn't put it with screw in it. Then you've got Browning machine gun, 3.3 barrel moves forward from behind indicators, a marmont draw, Smith and Wentz and Magnum, and 0.35 revolver, Smith, Wentz and Contentinal, 0.38 combat special knife hand grenade. Um, so concealed telephone, dashboard weapons, console, tracking device, detailed engine. Uh, we've got all that coming, so yeah, really good. And uh, as you can see, a lovely, lovely vehicle. Now, there is a bit of discrepancy here. People are saying that the roof bit, um, this section here, people are actually saying that the roof section here doesn't match the same paint as this. So that could be quite interesting when we get down that line. As I said, I'm going to keep this in here. I'm sorry there's no building involved in this issue, but this is the way that this build is, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. Let's just sort that troll out there. Sorry, let's just get rid of that. Um, yep, there we go, bye-bye. <laughs>
<laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. So we're not gonna touch that by the looks of it for God knows how many issues. Um, and then as you can see here, if I come back on the screen, we have this fantastic poster, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then obviously if you open it up, you get you get four sheets of these. So you get sheet one of four and you get four sheets. This one involves the bonnet, the radiator, the front of the car, the front bumper, the ball, 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 bulletproof, I can't pronounce it, screen and boot section, the rear wings, the quarter light windows. Uh, I am rushing a bit because I'm trying to get to Crafty Chris at eight o'clock. So I am a bit against the time here. But as you can see, that's what all this comes under. Um, and it's a part identification sheet here. So let me just stop that and come back onto there. Um, I will get to the comments. Um, but as you can see, you get four sheets of these. These are great. Um, and as you can see, they describe, they basically list you. Um, they list you all the parts. So they basically tell you every single part that you'll be constructing. Um, let's try and see if we can get this. Uh, where's the thing on there? Uh, on here. So if we just put that there. You can see that we get like all the ch the parts checklists. So it tells you what's coming in every single stage. Look at that. That's just amazing. So you get all little individual sections. Um, you get all of this up here. So obviously the front bumper and all that. We'll be covering that soon. Probably next week, uh, actually. So that is that. What do you think? I mean, it's, it is a shame we can't build nothing. But this is how the Harley Davidson was. Went on for weeks and weeks with or packed without building nothing. And I got rid of it in the end. I got fed up with just not building anything. But yeah, we've got a lot of stuff there. So let's get into the comments here. What we've got on 47, I've got a hurry because um, I've got another show to get to. Um, hi, Crafty Chris, yeah, lovely. Uh, Sunny Stormy works there. Uh, yep, yeah, you've seen that, lovely. Hi, Mike and everyone. Hello, Neil, how are you doing? Have you got, I've got exclusive information, Neil. Look at this. I have found the wheel, oh yes. So I've actually found the wheel for the Eddie Stobart. So I'll be doing that on Monday. So uh, can't believe that. It was tucked under one of the, where the solar system sits. It was under one of the magazines. Um, well done, Mike, yet yeah, for pronouncing it more the first time. <laughs> uh, yeah, so hi, Neil Ratcliffe. Hello, Queen of Diamonds. How are you doing? You all right? Lovely to see you. Uh, hi, everyone. Hope you're all well and OK. Hello, Neil Radcliffe there. Um, hi, Queen of Roast. Uh, Rose, uh, thanks you as well. Thank you as well, even. Uh, we've got Sunny Stormy there. Um, Justin Flynn is a troll, so I've blocked that out. And then we've got Hi, Queen of Diamonds. Very nicely there. So that is it. I'm afraid we're not building nothing in this issue. Um, it is what it is. Uh, do check out World of Wayne because he's doing this as well. Um, so do check his channel out. Uh, he is the legend of the YouTube industry as far as I'm concerned. He is a brilliant guy. And, uh, yeah, he does all the DB5 as well. So we will be doing this, I think, probably next week, issue two. Whether we get to build anything, I don't know. Because all the videos that I did do on this are in the process of being scrapped. Uh, we we doing the whole one again. Um it wasn't really the best of videos the way it was edited, so I want to scrap that. Uh, hello, we've got another one there. Uh, got time to answer a question, Mike? Go ahead, five away, quick, quick, quick. We've got forty-nine minutes. We've got ten minutes to go on the clock. Um, I've got the. Yeah, it's not gone live at the moment. If you can see there, Neil Crafty Chris is on the TV over there. So I'm like hearing out. I'm waiting to see if it starts. So I'm keeping an eye out. And that's why that door's open. Uh, what's the question? Go ahead. While I'm waiting, I'll have a Pringle. How about that? Very nice, actually. And look at that. Actually found that today. You know, I said I had a sand painting. I actually found it today in the box. Now, uh, I haven't done this before. Um, so let's do that. Um, this is what one I did off camera. So as you can see, last year we sort of finished near the hat and we bring the contour around for the hat and that's where it ended. What I do is if it's a Christmas themed, I really am gutted that I didn't do this pre-record, uh, you know, live. It would have been a great one, but, you know, I quite, um, 
I, I wanted to do something off camera. I do a lot off camera as well. So I'll pick that up um, probably tomorrow and start finishing it off off camera. So, uh, yeah, nice little paint on there. Hello, we got. Thank you very much, Queen of Diamonds. I appreciate that. Um, whoops, what's happened here? Yeah, there we go. Hello. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Uh, what site did you order your Willys Jeep from, buddy? That, right. So, how I order the Willys Jeep is there's a company called Reship. Okay, so Reship, and then you order it from the American site pump it into reship reship is basically say like you want to shop from i don't know canada usa we know that you have to have a reship company to do that so basically order on the online website with um the usa pump it into a reship reship will then deliver it to you but worst thing i ever did because they charge five pounds um handling fee let me just see um uh come on man I've got hurry up here. I'm so against the clock here. <laughs> um, the site you need. Come on, hurry up. I don't do this anymore because obviously, one, it costs too much to get here. And two, uh, it's not available in this country anymore. Uh, well, it's never actually been out in the country, so it could come out. I'm surprised that Gora hasn't, but if you want to order it from America, that is the site there. However, um, I don't know whether you can order it direct from Mega Monster here, but I use a reship thing. Um, so that's the site there for the Willys Jeep. Um, and then, so oh, you like my, uh, is it started yet? No, it's not, we're okay. Um, you like this? Yeah, this is... Can you see, like, it really goes quite nice with my reindeer one. So I have a couple of, like, Christmas, I have a couple of Christmas theme, theme ones. So I think that's pretty nice. Um, I've seen one with a Coca-Cola van, but they want to send it from China. So that's definitely not going to come here in time. And each year I keep putting it off. Um, yeah, I quite, I quite like that. Um, it's a shame I didn't do it live. I mean, I, I could bring it back live, but it wouldn't be the same because i've already done all up here so that's that so that's that uh really really good um you're very welcome neil from morecambe very good um and what is that what is that santa oh it's the santa emoji lovely so tomorrow is going to be the first of the fit uh the flip and fold desk um after that will be Mel Chemistry, you know, the week, uh, the day after. The day after that is going to be, I think it's the tank. And now because we found this wheel, I can do Eddie Stoke art now. So, yeah, we'll put all that together. Um, so, yeah, lovely, jubbly. Uh, good egg. Um, so, yeah, pretty good. So, hope you like that video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. And I'll uh, see you uh, for more of James Bond coming hopefully next week if I can fill it all in because I've got stacks and stacks of things to get through. There is another video tonight, however I may change it because Prancer was recorded today um, and it's supposed to be diamond card making but I'm tempted to put Prancer up, um, try and get that back into daily so that may change at 10.30, I may stop that stream but have a lovely day, head over now to um, Crafty Chris, uh, she's going to be, I think it's a different host this evening because she's not feeling very well or something, so there's going to be some other people on that um, stream sorting that out for Chris, head over there um, at Crafty Chris, because um, she's going live in approximately five minutes, see she's still on there ready, <laughs> so I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and uh, go and watch that now. Have a lovely evening. Take care. Bye-bye.